Hi guys, my name is Matt. I play in the band Rose of Jericho. And today, what I want to do is give a review of the new Rock Band 3 Squire Pro Guitar Controller. Um, this review is actually going to be broken into two parts. The first part is going to be how the guitar plays in Rock Band 3 itself. And then the second part of the review is going to be how the Squire plays as a guitar. Um, we'll compare it to a couple other guitars and just give an impression of how it stacks up. So let's get started. So this is the guitar. Um, as you can see, it's a Squire Stratocaster. This is a real guitar. Um, it plays. Um, the only differences between this and a regular Squire is that uh, this has button controllers on it for controlling uh, the Rock Band 3 game itself. Of course, if you have an Xbox 360, these buttons won't do anything. That's a little gift from Microsoft to us. Um, the fretboard itself has sensors built into it such that when you're playing in-game, it can sense where you put your fingers and thus know whether you're playing the right chord or not. So first, uh, I want to take a look at gameplay of uh, using the Rock Band 3 controller. Okay, so for this example, um, the song I picked was Damn It by Blink-182, and the main reason why I picked it was uh, I know the song, so it didn't take me that long to learn how to play it. Um, uh, well, at least a decent run at it anyways. So when we're looking at the screen here, you can see... Um, at the bottom of the screen or in the center here, there's basically what what looks like the fretboard of the guitar, and there's six strings. And on the left is the bottom lowest string, and then on the right is the highest or the the highest pitch string. And basically the way that you read this is there's going to be numbers that are going to appear on each of these strings and that basically tells you what fret you put your finger on and then you pluck the string at that fret. So uh, we'll let the video roll here and you're going to see numbers uh, coming towards the bottom of the screen there and as they reach the bottom of the screen you're going to see me play that string and fret at that number and uh, it'll register in the game and I'll get a score. So, uh, in retrospect, I probably could have picked a slower song since these numbers are kind of flying by you at hyperspeed. But this is just kind of giving you an idea of, um, yeah, you're, you're playing real guitar, basically, and the part that um, I'm playing here is actually the song. Um, just some thoughts about uh, playing on the guitar. Uh, the first thing that I have to say is it is a lot easier. Well, I don't say a lot easier, but it is easier to 100% the song in real life, say you're recording in a studio, to get a good take in a studio. It's easier to do that than it is on this Rock Band 3 Pro Guitar. This Pro Guitar is pretty picky. Your technique needs to be pretty flawless in general to get a really good score. Um, this run that you're seeing here, I probably practiced the song about um, four or five times, and this is a song that I know fairly well. I mean, I can just sit down and play this song, and I could probably record it in the studio and be fairly happy with the take in a couple tries, but in this one, I couldn't even 100% it in, in five tries, so it is pretty tough. Um, if you're a rock band, a serious rock band player, I would have to say that the Squire Pro Guitar is going to be a real challenge. Um, it's not like the old plastic guitars where you got to five buttons. Um, and you can see at the speed that this, this track is rolling that you would need to practice a lot to be able to sight read this. I mean, there's, there's six strings, 22 frets, and to be able to read this thing as fast as it's going by, 
that would be pretty tough. I mean, even I've been playing guitar for quite a while, and I, when there's solos, even if there's slow solos on this thing, I can't read it. I I just get totally lost. So the next thing that I wanted to try was um, playing a song that I have never played before to kind of see what the process would be like on learning how to play a song in pro guitar. And the first thing that uh, I recommend you do is turn on what they call chord numbering. Um, in the previous video, uh, when we were when you saw chords, coming by basically it would just show you the number of the bass note to the chord and then your other fingers the way they would indicate what you're supposed to play is this little kind of blue bar basically and the height of the bar is supposed to tell you uh, how many frets up your other fingers are supposed to go to kind of give you the idea of what the shape of the chord would look like um, while it's kind of a cool uh, idea and it works pretty well when you know the song is just kind of as a visual reminder when you're learning a song it's not a lot of help especially when if your finger has to go more than about three frets away the the bar never gets any higher so uh this chord numbering basically what it does is it it puts the numbers on all of the strings that you're supposed to be playing so and the way you do that is you go into options and modifiers to turn that on. Okay, so definitely the next question that I had was how does pro guitar playing it in game compare to playing real guitar? Um, well, obviously, uh, it's very accurate in the sense that when you're playing pro guitar, you're playing the actual notes uh, of the song. The other thing that I really liked about uh, pro guitar is the fretboard and how sensitive and how accurate it is um, when you can sit and play a D chord and just like I'm used to playing on a real guitar and it comes out and sometimes your fingering isn't always exactly perfect i mean you you move fingers sometimes away from the frets and this guitar just i think does a really spectacular job of still capturing uh, a good performance even when you aren't completely exact but uh, it would still come out correctly if you're playing through an amp so i was really impressed by that overall the pro guitar experience is just really outstanding um i would highly recommend this to anyone whether you're a guitar player or not because um i don't know it's it, this is probably the most fun i've had on a music game since they released drums for rock band so um playing guitar playing real guitar in rock band is just it's outstanding and the job they've done implementing it here is is really awesome So playing pro guitar, I did find some oddities, I guess, in how the game works. Um, just instances where, I don't know if it's a bug or if it was intentional to make things easier, but um, the first example that I have is, is in the Tom Petty song, I Need to Know. Um, you can see the screenshot here is showing that C chord. Um, basically, so if you're reading the, the finger numbering from left to right, it should be three, five, five, three, three, except when I played it, and this is just kind of by accident, um, I just played it where it was three, five, five, and the top two strings I left open and it counted them 
as correct. I didn't break my streak. So I was curious as to whether, well, maybe they did this to make it easier, but you don't get as high of a score. So I did a little experiment where basically I only played those two chords. The first time I played it the way I had been playing it, which was leaving the top two strings open. And then the second time I played it where I barred the whole thing and I played the top two strings on three like I was supposed to. And what I found was you get the same exact score how you play it either way. So this is kind of interesting from the point of view that the way I was playing it is actually easier than uh, the way it's charted. And so for those of you that are going for the highest score possible, this kind of implies there may be little tricks and things you can do to make the song easier but still get a high score. And I guess really the only way to find these things is going to kind of be by accident. So the other somewhat minor issue that I came across was uh, strumming on the guitar. I was having problems with strumming registering, specifically up strums. Um, and this was only in the case of big chords, so full six string chords like uh, open chords like G and E and C and things like that. Um, the way that I got those to register was I found if you move the position where you strum the strings so that you're basically right on top of the pickup, then I found that the strumming seemed to work pretty well. Um, the closer you move to the fretboard, uh, the, or the closer you move to that string mute, um, the worse that your up strumming seemed to register. Um, I haven't tried adjusting the sensitivity, and I know there's been some discussion about um, the top strings don't register at all for some people. Uh, I haven't had that problem with my guitar, um, though I haven't played anything really fast, uh, so I've been able to pick the strings like I would normally, which I play, I don't know if I play harder than average, but uh, I haven't had any problems with it detecting on the top, or, top strings.